Welcome to Atticum Plays Port Royale 4. All right, hi, this is Atticum, and welcome to episode 5 of Port Royale 4 uh, Closed Beta Spain Campaign Playthrough. So we are um, uh, moving right along, off to a reasonable start, doing okay, hitting all of our tasks, and um, I got a little sick of some of the confusion around the trade routes in my mind. I just wasn't getting it, and uh, so I did something. I don't think. Well, first of all, I went back and rewatched some of the tutorials to make sure I hadn't missed something, and I had that pretty, pretty clumped, uh, pretty uh, un under control. So that wasn't the issue. But then I did something I don't think I've ever done. I actually read the, the owner's manual. I don't read the owner's manual on anything. I read the owner's manual. I did skip the basics part. Felt like I had that, although I, I did glance at that piece and found one kind of neat one here that was very useful T for center and follow the convoy, which is something I was complaining that I couldn't do. But from towns on down, I read all of that and there was some really good stuff in it. And over time, I will pass that along to you guys through this uh, playthrough. But um, we're starting, if you'll notice, if you're pretty observant, we're about a month further in than we were uh, at the end of episode four, because I inadvertently uh, lost some um, audio and video capture stuff that I had and, and lost a little bit of gameplay. No big deal, trust me, you're not missing a thing. And, and, and from even from a, a continuity point of view, it's no big deal. So um, we're right in the middle, <clears throat> as it turns out, we're right in the middle of a task where we have to uh, buy pottery and run it up to um, uh, this town up here, Riahacha. So I just bought seven. I've got how many? I've got 20. I need five more. We're down here in uh, Nekokli uh, making our purchase. So Nekokli makes pottery at about four a day. So we're going to let this run for... Let's like it, let it hit July 18th, and we'll make sure there's plenty in there. There we go. Now we can run back down here and buy pottery. Pottery. Okay, now we've got plenty to go up to Riahacha. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I was clicking on it. I meant to right-click on it. Right-click sends your... your uh, uh, ship so we've got uh we've got our pottery coming up it's just arrived in riahacha we'll sell it to the town there we go and finish that task and get 40 points toward another, some more fame and that put us over the top we got another fame point we have a couple unspent now <clears throat> there's some more over here there's something going on piece of the um uh, map is for sale, so we're going to go over and purchase that in Maracaibo while it's there, easy to get to. Uh, okay, I'll hit X for accept. There we go. We bought some more of the map. Let's see what our map looks like. Okay, there we go. We got three pieces now. So, <clears throat> what are we going to do here? What there's been a gap, and I don't mean the month of playtime, but I mean an actual gap of, of actual real time. Uh, between episode four and episode five, because I've been doing my homework. I, I said, as I said, I've been doing my homework. I read the manual. I, uh, 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 I've been looking into the trade routes and figuring it out. So let's see if we can't get our trade routes into better shape and especially work on why can't we deliver more commodities to our Kaibo. And the first thing we're going to do in order to to fix that problem is we're going to buy building permission into Maracaibo. Okay, so now we have the right to build buildings, all right? And that also gives us the right to go in here and invest in the city. So there's a coffee plantation, and by the way, that's our big problem. Maracaibo is making coffee, so it limits the requirement, if you look right here, if we go down to coffee, now it just so happens right here, it's 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 a uh, four uh, red bars, meaning they need coffee. So so a line out there uh, somewhere that's 
trying to decide what to buy would say, oh, they need coffee, I'll buy coffee and take it there. But uh, a lot of times, this is, uh, oh, and it looks to me like we may have even just had a recent run, but it, but it, I mean, about, of the ship from Europe, the ship, the fleet from Europe that does the big trades and brings the people over to us. So right at this moment, our uh, demand satisfaction for coffee is very poor, but uh, a, lot, a lot of times it's, it's like too green, which it would prohibit, prohibit us from buying it on these other routes to take there. So here's what we're going to do. The first thing we're going to do is buy We just bought sugar plantain. We just bought coffee, meat, and sugar. So now, if we look at, um, and we spent a bunch of money doing that, it, it, about eh, eight or ten times more than it would have cost us to buy it. But then we would have had to wait while it got built. We didn't want to do that. So if we look at Maracaibo now and look at production, you can see we own four sugar. We own the three coffee. Uh, we couldn't buy the rope because we don't have the conce key, uh, concession for it yet. We just kind of skipped it. And we own the meat. So these are all okay businesses. But the point wasn't to get the businesses except that we want the ability to put a warehouse in um, Maracaibo. Now, I'm wondering, why can't I? What's the deal, Lucille? <sighs> meat, meat. Why? What's the problem with the meat? Livestock farm. I, does it consume something? I, uh, does it consume like, well, I don't see it, no, I don't see that. What's it missing? Oh, grain. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm reading that message, it's telling me I can't build grain now, no kidding. No kidding, I knew that. Livestock farm, it doesn't seem to need anything. Um, hmm, I'm not sure about that. Um, so why can't I build a warehouse? All this was on the assumption that I would be able to build a small warehouse in the city. I can build the businesses. I own... Oh, I wonder if I, oh, I, I, sorry, sorry. I think I'm spacing out. Forgive me. I only own, no, four, seven. I own 11 businesses. If you own 10, you're supposed to be able to build a warehouse. Oh, 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 no, no, did you see that message? Uh, Bob, you have to be the administrator of the town to commission buildings of this category. So these, okay, so we're, we need to be the administrator of that town. Well, it just so happens that we have some fame and some money. Whoop. Maracaibo. We are now going to become the administrator the of the town in your hands. Of From the town on, of Maracaibo. No one but you will build in the town. And now we can build a warehouse. I want to thank Solius for this uh, uh, clarification. I'd read, like I said, I read the user manual, and there's a part in here about highlighting towns. And I read this, and I have to confess, I, I was probably getting tired at this point. It was the very last thing. I didn't really. Uh, figure it out. But Solius told me if I hit this highlight town and I say, okay, show me everywhere there's a warehouse. See this? 
Puerto Cabeza, Seville. Show me everywhere that produces meat. Check this out. This, that's very, very useful. So um, let's go back to, what's a shipyard? Okay. Oh, oh, you can say, okay, show me all the shipyards. Also very helpful. Show me all the warehouses or show me every place that's producing grain or whatever. Uh, so what I wanted to do is say, okay, we're, I need some metalware to take to Maracaibo. Where is it being produced? And we can see if we, if we could move out of the way a little bit, that right down here in Gibraltar, right below us, are metalwares. That's very useful. You don't have to click on each town to go find what you want. So Attican, go, go down to Maracaibo and buy us some metalwares, please. And I'm gonna make my, every, every uh, episode I gripe about this, but I hate this having to scroll up to get the thing to go fast. All right, so Gibraltar, tools, tools. And I'm probably too slow, probably don't even need them anymore, but let's just buy, won't let me buy tools, why not? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry, Attican wasn't there. Come on, Attican, there we go. And let's buy some tools. And we might as well make some money on it while we're at it and go over here. And sell those tools. So now we've got plenty of construction materials. There, it says it's missing 10. There, now it's not missing anything. Oh, well, yeah, it is. It says it's missing 10, 10 uh, metalwares, and I just brought 10 metalwares. <laughs> there we go. There. Now, in 15 days, that'll be done. So, um, little girl, let's accept this. Okay. What she's saying, find somebody south of New Orleans. So, Instead of using Attican, this is something I think I'm going to change in my approach. We're going to go up here. Somewhere south of New Orleans, there's uh, somebody we're looking for. We're just going to wait for one of our ships to come around. Okay, here's a ship. Somewhere south of New Orleans. There it is. Whoa. And we will pick them up. And what do we have to do with them? Ria, Ria Hacha. Uh, oh, that's okay. All right. We'll head all the way to Ria Hacha with that ship. And um, what was I trying to say? There's. <laughs> I am reaching, you know what, I'm going to slow down to. All right. I am reaching the point where there's a lot going on, and it really is difficult to uh, even, even to talk about concepts when there's so many things we have to juggle. And that reminds me of one other thing I wanted to do. We want to take our combat fleet, and I think we're just going to park them. Oh, look at this. That, that's John Hawkins. Could we possibly intercept that son of a gun? I'm going to stop right there and patrol. Let's see if we can catch him with a patrol. Is there any chance? Or has he just disappeared from the face of the earth? He has disappeared from the face of the earth. Okay. 
I actually think the the encounter. Oh, there he goes. No, that's a merchant. All right, I think some of those encounters are actually, uh, sorry, I gotta speed it back up until this is done. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna dock our fleet right out here in the, out just outside of Seville and patrol in the hopes that we uh, run into our buddy John Hawkins. And we've got, we're doing our one little thingy, our one little task. And, um, <clears throat> So what I'm saying is it's hard to stay focused on something. And in a way, you can't. The game is meant for you to be juggling four or five things at once. And you just kind of have to learn to do that or decide you don't like to do that and not play the game. Uh, like, for example, here we need more housing in Puerto Cabezas. It's our town that we administer. And what I'd like to do with it is build out um, in chapel combination. So like, well that is a chapel. Or I got two of them there. Got two of them there, it's ridiculous. What's this? Hospital. Here's a tavern. Let's put a chapel next to the tavern here. Let's see if we can put some housing. One, two, three. Okay, we'll build some housing in here. What is that? That's a tavern. Oh, and we can put some housing out here, actually. Okay. Scroll down, we can see we need some wooden bricks. It will not take too long to get those wooden bricks there. So, um, all right, so let's Let's do the stinking trade routes. All right. So, several things I've learned about the trade routes. Um, first of all, I always wondered, I always thought that was weird, that dash slash three. I, I, and, I, and I was naturally reading it, I think, the way most people would, at first glance, you don't have any out of three possible. That's not true. What it's saying, what it's telling us is there are three... Um, convoys on this route right now. You're just not looking at any of them. And if we use this, we can pull them up. So I believe I was uh, moaning at one one time about how you can't see the convoys on your trade route. Well, yeah, you can, yeah, you can. So here's, there's two, there's three. There's our three uh, convoys on this trade route. And the other thing I noticed while uh, reading through the, um, owner's manual, so to speak. Let's edit this route, I wanna show you. Um, if you look at this route, you think it's a big, huge route. I mean, it's going all the way up into you know North America and all the way back down here to Seville, which is like, that's part of the peninsula of Mexico, isn't it? Or Mexico, I think. So anyway, um, if you look at this, in order to do that the best, you kind of, go around the bad weather, right? We can see big bad weather in there as we were looking and all the dead space where the where it's really slow. But then again, our route is basically all shallow water. So we don't want big ships. We want the, the, the cheap ships that um, can easily navigate this. And not only that, but we want now that we know that these towns exist, there's no reason not to just stay along the coast and do all these towns. So we'll put we'll put uh, New Orleans right behind Galveston, and we'll put Biloxi right behind New Orleans, and Pensacola right behind Biloxi, and Port St. Joe right behind. Pensacola and Tampa right behind Port St. Joe 
So now we've got a route that basically is shallow water all the way except for this one little crossing to get over to from the Florida Keys to Havana, which is what, 90 miles or so? It's not very far. So the thing that uh, made me uh, thinking about, got me thinking about this is that, see this duration? I read what that means. That means a shallow draft via, uh, uh, a shallow draft ship could do this in 17.9 days. A deeper draft ship would take 44 days, obviously. We want to hit all those cities in 18 days. That would be awesome. We want shallow draft ships on this entire route. So, um, so let's look at the route, and let's look at our at the ships we have. Number three is a couple of schooners. That's beautiful. Number one, a couple of brigs. I think the brigs are okay. I think they are shallow draft. Um, number two's more brigs, they're okay, but what's really good would be to just have the real cheapo ones. Uh, okay, Let's see if we can buy any schooners. We'll buy that schooner. Sloop, beautiful. And then the brigs, yes they are, they are low draft for full speed even near the coast. So we're gonna buy those as well, and that one. And barks, low draft. There we go. So we just bought a whole bunch of uh, ships. I'm gonna go brig, brig. I'm gonna take two of the brigs, make them into a convoy, and we're gonna go back to our route. And we're gonna pull up the two that we just made. There we go. And we're gonna assign them to this route and activate them. The other thing is we're going to use dis distribute convoys. So what we're going to do is say, you got four convoys running on, on this route. Spread them out so that they're not all just all four of them zap, 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 zap into Corpus Christi and then all four of them going into Galveston. Spread them out along the route so that you get a nice even flow of movement of the ships. That way you'll get have tend to have a more even flow of the distribution of goods along that and you'll have buy and sell opportunities at an even, even pace and everything will be cool. So this will be a great route and see we're running it pretty close to full all the time anyway. So uh, may as well uh, run them like that. And let's just make sure they're all like, here's one. Oh, this one's going to Riohacha. Uh, let's just watch him for a minute because as soon as he gets to Riohacha, I'm gonna hit T and, and go find him. Okay, we've completed our task, and we got another piece of the map. Ah, okay, so the map's starting to fill in for us. So this guy, he can now go. He can go get back to work. All right, and let's get back to editing our uh, our route. I'm looking at our route. So we've got, uh, and that's what that was, I noticed that down here. It says convoys are active and all. There's four active, four total uh, convoys. Total capacity of 2,100 uh, tons of, of uh, freight. Beautiful. All right, so um, so now we're going to distribute them so that they'll spread out on this on this route. And this route now has a bunch of cities on it. Oh, <laughs> I was just counting them, they're right here. 18, which I think is, I think that might even be max. But we've got 18 cities. I think four convoy, convoys is probably enough to have on that route. So that should be pretty good to have four convoys running all over the place. I mean, we could probably cram some more on there, but let's do that. Let's do, let's run four, and that route should be even better. It's already good for us. It should be even better. Now, <clears throat> the other thing about the routes that, that uh, I goofed up early on, I didn't do a lot of exploring early on. I can't remember if I've talked about this before or not. If this is, if I'm repeating myself, just bear with me. Um, I didn't explore because I thought the map was telling us when we first started everything we had to work with because it was in pre-beta. I didn't think they had made, you know, the whole map and all that. Turns out that the whole map kind of exists. 
We just hadn't found the cities yet. So what we need to do is explore. Well, let me show you something else I learned. If we look, if we look at the highlight towns and say, okay, show me all the shipyards. Notice there's a shipyard in Maracaibo and in Seville, as we know. There's one in Santo Domingo that we've discovered so far, and there's one in New Orleans. Well, what we can do, let's say we wanted to explore over here. We don't have to build a ship somewhere else and go over there. What we can do is go to New Orleans. Let's go to New Orleans to its shipyard. What's going on there? What, what is that? Oh, it's highlighted. Yeah, stop that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. The people in New Orleans are going blind. All right. So uh, we'll go to the shipyard and we're going to buy a little schooner. Okay. We bought a little cheap schooner in New Orleans. And what we're going to do with it is, well, Sorry, we'll go back to New Orleans. We're going to go to our lighthouse, turn that into a, uh, a uh, convoy, and I'll show you something about that in a minute too. And we're gonna have it go explore. We're gonna have it go over here and start looking for some more stuff for us. And we'd also like to explore down in this area because there, there's gotta be more towns on these islands. So we're gonna go to Santo Domingo and we're gonna do the same thing. We'll go down here to the shipyard, and we're going to buy a schooner. That'll do. Ah, shoot. I meant to show you something else. I forgot. All right. We're going to buy that. We're going to turn it into a convoy, and we're going to have it start you exploring. You did not really think I was actually on board that convoy, did you? But I can see that my actions are not yet having the desired effect. So, I am going to have to redouble my efforts. That scoundrel. So, we have not gotten rid of him yet. And what is he up to now? Be on your guard. All right, we have encountered John Hawkins. So, let's go back over here, right there. We've had a battle. Enemy convoy lost all vessels. You have boarded a vessel of the opponent so we've actually picked up a ship and we killed off all his sailors. We barely lost sailors, uh, net. I'm sure we lost some and then picked up some of his. So we, we, this that was a great battle for us and that was automated. And that probably was programmed to be that way. It, it doesn't, uh, let's not congratulate ourselves on our, our uh, military prowess. And we really got no notification of it to, to be able to join the fight. But what we're going to do with this now is look at this thing and sail into uh, into Seville and go down here to the shipyard and repair. Now I did click repair, didn't I? You know, I think I think it's I think I'm repairing. I'm ordering repairs on these dock. I want to repair my. Well, I don't need any repairs. <laughs> we do need sailors. All right, let's let's get some more sailors. Well, we also have to ask ourselves. We have a level three. Um, Captain, and we have four. Uh, we definitely need repairs. What the? What the? I want to repair. I think that's goofing up. I. Uh, we can't be ordering anything. I think the silly thing is repair. Oh. oh, look at this. I didn't know that. We have, I, that's new to me. We have to click move to combat one and repair it. I've been repairing all these vehicles or all these uh, ships that are for sale. So now we're, now we're getting repaired. That, that was interesting. 
And now we're going to go get some sailors. And let's see, do we have enough? Yeah, we got we got a full complement of sailors. I'm surprised though, what I don't understand is why is it letting us get away with four ships? Well, maybe it's because, well, that's quite a little fleet, a war galleon, two galleons, and a frigate. That's nice. So we'll let that get repaired. And uh, because he says he's coming back and redoubling his efforts, so we're not done with him. While we're here, what's wrong with Seville? Uh, residential areas, okay. Okay, so let's uh, build some more. And I would love to build, because of our task, some more taverns and, and chapels. A hospital out here. I don't see a tavern or chapel out here, so let's uh, let's expand out this way if it'll let us. It won't. It'll let us go here. There's a tavern and a chapel and some housing. Now that housing is going to be negatively impacted by the farm nearby and positively impacted by, well, positively at least in terms of growth, uh, by the inn and the um, chapel. And we can put a market in there to make people a little bit happier. They won't let me build out there. Are we close to the Yeah, we're close to the edge of the town out there. Let's go over this way. Uh, do we have any taverns over here? Hospital? No, we could build in tavern combo out, out this way. Uh, how about right there? In, I'm, I'm in tavern. I'm in, in a tavern and a uh, chapel. Maybe a market to keep people happy. And then one, two, three, four, five. And some housing around that. We need a bunch of uh, bricks and wood, which we have an active trade route that goes uh, Seesaw, Campeche. We have a bricks line, so we, sh we should be able to get all those materials in there quickly to build up. Okay, we're getting there on the repairs. All right, so, <laughs> unbelievable. Uh, there's just so much going on. Um, all right, what else did I want to say about this line? We've seen the, the ships, we've got them distributed, we've got them going. This line is making a lot of money, as you can see. So, we wanted to start our exploring, right? So, we should have a, a Yeah, here it comes, finally. No. I could have bet money we had a sloop and an exploration ship. We've got Attican. What's he doing? I guess I must have sent Attican out here to, to explore. There, he found San Juan, way to go. Go down there and check some things out. And uh, we must have some, uh... all right, this guy in New Orleans, I, I guess I didn't send him anywhere. I was probably pointing to the wrong one. And the one in Santo Domingo, I forgot to send him anywhere. So let's go down here and start exploring there. All right, so the point of that is what I want to do is actually build some more trade lines with that. We are ripping through some money. And remember, we've got to get to our shipyard. We've got a new captain who's come on board. Oh, no, is this thing? Oh, oh, good, good, good. Our um, Mafalda has now 
uh, leveled up to a level four. So we get to choose what we do with this. And we can, we've been giving her that, she's got level three helmsman. We can level her up to level four, and make her 12% faster speed at sea. Oh, an additional movement point. Oh yeah, absolutely. We'll take that because you get additional uh, combat movement too. And the reason I want that is because she's a level four because I'm suspicious about this, our little fleet. Remember we captured one of the enemy ships. So our fleet right here, which is fully repaired, see, not enough command points. Now, why is that? Because our commander is Guadalupe, who's only a three. So what we're gonna to have to do is go to here and say, okay, let's unassign Guadalupe. Then we're gonna to go to our new level four, which is good timing. Mafalda is now, we're gonna unassign her but then this combat one is now going to get assigned to Mafalda. So she has magically uh, 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 beamed me up Scotty. She has beamed over and is now running our uh, uh, combat group right here. So we're going to have them go back out away from the city. And we're going to put them on patrol again. So now we've got a strong group there. Uh, we've got uh, a war galleon, two galleons, and a frigate uh, with a with appropriate commander who's got, and with some extra movement, uh, really nice, very nice. Um, and then what we can do with our other captain with uh, Guadalupe is we can decide where do we want Guadalupe because she's still useful She's really better at fighting. That carpenter, by the way, is a wonderful uh, thing. <laughs> a wonderful thing. Um, so, And we don't want her just sitting idle. We want her doing something so she's progressing and gaining experience so that she can level up as well. So, um, so Guadalupe needs to uh, take over something. Now, what we could do, and again, I'm going through the money really fast here at this point. But what we could do is um, uh, put her on one of our better uh, trade route uh, convoys. Let's see. Let's see if we, let's try something different. Let's look at the convoys. And look at the biggest one, this one right here, Maracaibo 2, is 2,000. It's four ships. What is it? Oh, it's four flutes. Here we go. All right. We will put... Guadalupe on that. Now suddenly she has <laughs> magically gone from Seville to um, New Orleans. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we've got her where we need her. All right. So that uh, takes care of that. Now I'm actually going to have to cut this off because I'm running out of time here already and um, didn't even get to really talking about the trade routes the way I wanted to. I mean, we cleaned up this one, but I want to get into what we're going to do now that we have uh, put in, do we have a warehouse? Yes, we now have a warehouse in Maracaibo. See, we have one in Maracaibo, in Seville, and in Puerto Cabezas. So our one in Maracaibo, Maracaibo we're going to set it up for what it does and doesn't do. And uh, honestly, right now, huh. oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, let's look at the things that are produced in this town. It's a little weird, kind of a weird interface, I have to tell you. Also, by the way, I do wish they would continue with the thing. Put the gears over here. If it's produced in this town, put the gears. That would be useful, but no big deal. What I really want to make sure we're storing is coffee and uh, 
accepting produced commodities. Oh, that's different. Supply, accept commodities from trade routes. Uh, we really don't want to accept anything. And this may be unnecessary, but I don't want anything in that warehouse except for our four. Uh, so I don't even want the meat that we're producing or metal that can be produced. I want cotton and tobacco and coffee and cocoa and nothing else. Okay. And then trade, uh, selling to the town, we definitely want to trade. those four items and when we come back in the next episode we're going to start filling up that warehouse from our other other locations I hope you enjoyed that I hope it'll help us all become better players I hope you'll like comment and subscribe and join us for our next Port Royale 4 video thank you